How's it going, guys? It's Coach McIntyre. I'm the head football coach at Valley Springs. Um, sorry I'm getting to y'all so late in the summer. Um, as you all know, we've had some restrictions on being able to do summer workouts and stuff. And thankfully, next week, we can start participating. We can start having some summer workouts. So I'm trying to send out this video to you all to try to get you guys as much information as I can. Um, this video, we're going to cover our summer workouts, our parent meetings, uh, pad fittings and stuff like that, the beginning of the season, as well as showing you guys your the new uniforms that we have this year for our football team. Um, just kind of note, I've recorded this video. I think this is the third time I've recorded it. So it's kind of cut and pasted. So the background behind me is going to change a couple times. Uh, just kind of roll with it. I've been uh, piecing it together, um, especially the uniform part, because I've already taken those back to the school and put them away. So I'm just using the pre-recorded stuff from that. But this first part is the most up-to-date information regarding workouts. So uh, we are going to start workouts on Monday. I say we're going to start workouts. We're going to start meeting on Monday. Um, the way it's going to work is we're going to have to kind of divide it up. Monday is going to be what we're going to call an orientation day for our summer workouts. What it's going to be is it's going to give you guys a time slot for you guys to come by for us to give parents any kind of information that you need um, to give players a physical form if they need to go get a physical and stuff like that. Um, that time is going to be from 4 until 6 on Monday the 6th. So again, 4 to 6 on Monday. It's going to be your orientation. It's just a drop by. What you're going to do is you're just going to come around the back of the school. Uh, we'll all be back there. All the coaches who are going to be doing summer workouts will be back there. Um, we'll try to talk to each of you. I'll try to catch all the football players as you come through. Uh, just be sure that you ask to be pointed out to me if I don't come to your car to talk to you. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to have that orientation. It's going to allow parents to sign their consent form. I'm going to give you all a sheet of information that a lot of the stuff is relayed in this video as well. Um, mostly being communication platforms, how to get in touch with me and our coaching staff. Um, then next week as well, on the 8th and the 9th, so that's Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have workouts. Our workouts are going to be scheduled from 3 until 4.30. I say 3 until 4.30 because at 3 o'clock is when we're going to ask you guys to start showing up to get screened. We can only be working out for an hour. So we're going to have a 30-minute window, so from 3 until 3.30, for you guys to show up and get screened. So please be sure you're showing up no later than around 3.15 so you guys can get screened, we can get you out on the field, and we can get you ready to go. So once workout starts, so you guys have came to the orientation, you've signed the parent consent form and everything like that. To work out, you guys will need a physical and a family and to complete your family ID. I will send out the family ID information on all of our communication platforms once this video is posted. Um, and all 7th and 8th graders need to do family ID. However, physicals are going to look a little different this year. Any returning 8th graders, so any 8th grader who played a sport last year for Valley Springs or a different school in Buncombe County, you guys do not need to get a new physical. Let me re reiterate that again. If you played a sport in Buncombe County last year as a 7th grader and you are now an 8th grader and you had a physical to compete, you do not need to get a new physical. So if you're looking at your physical form, it would be anything dated after March 1st of 2019. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, in addition to that, um, all 7th graders will more than likely need to get a physical. You can find the physical form on the Family ID website, and we'll also have copies to give you all on the orientation day for our workouts. So if you guys come to the orientation on Monday and then show back up on Wednesday and you still don't have your Family ID or your physical completed, we cannot let you work out. So please be mindful of getting that in and getting it done. We're only going to have time to do four workouts this summer based on how late we're starting and just other scheduling conflicts as well. So we're going to have orientation next week on the 6th, two workouts on the 8th and the 9th. Then we're going to have two weeks off. So those middle two weeks in July, we're not going to have any activities. I'm going to strongly encourage you all to go out, at least run, throw the football around the backyard with a family member, a friend. Just try to stay active. And then the last week in July, the week right before our season starts, we're going to have two more workouts. Those workouts are going to be on July 29th and July 30th. Um, and I'll talk more about those two dates here in a second. So whenever you guys show up for the workouts, 
If you have all your documentation turned in, we'll start screening you. What we're going to do is we're going to scan your forehead with a little thermometer. Uh, be sure you don't have a fever. Then we're going to ask you a series of questions. We've got this little screening sheet we're going to be using for y'all and we're going to ask these short simple questions we're going to screen you all from your car by the way whenever you show up you're going to stay in your car we're going to screen you in your car and then if you're okay to participate we'll let you out let you go get your cleats on and stuff like that but this screening parents is super simple we just ask the kids do you have a fever are you coughing um do you have a sore throat shortness of breath anything like that, um, or if you've been in close contact with anyone who has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Um, once you've been cleared of screening, we'll let you out of your car. At this point, if you do not already have a mask on, you need to have a mask on from now until when our, our workout actually begins. So you guys need to have that mask on. Bring your own mask. If you don't have one, try to find one before a workout. Um, and again, once you're once you're cleared for screening, you'll get out on the baseball field where we practice and work out. You can go ahead and put your cleats on, but again, try to keep your mask on. Also, try to be conscious and try to stay distant from everybody else. All of you have been hearing stay about six feet apart. Um, that's just kind of our guideline. Um, I know a lot of you have not seen each other since we let out of school back in back this spring, so I know you all are excited to see each other and get back out on the field. But again, try to stay distant. Um, I know it's going to be weird. But just keep your mask on. Try to stay a little separated. You can talk. I'm not saying you have to just go sit six feet apart and just wait for the coaches to come. You can talk. Just don't be hugging up on each other and everything like that. Um, in addition to bringing your own mask, you all need to bring your own water bottle as well. Um, this is important just so each individual player has their own bottle. We will have a water station set up, and our trainer, Mo will be able to fill the water bottle back up if your athlete is to empty their, if they are to drink all their water or anything like that. We just can't use our normal water boy water system because it's just, um, it would it would mean every player is touching the machine. Um, but to so bring your own water bottle, bring your own mask, and obviously bring any cleats if you have them. You don't need cleats for workouts, but if you have them, you can. Um, so, Again, that's just what our general workout is going to look like. Um, reminders of all that is going to be listed underneath this video as well. So, um, the beginning of the season. It's going to start around August 3rd this year. I haven't heard anything otherwise of it being having to push, having to be pushed back. Um, so, as of right now, we're still going to say it's August 3rd, and we're going to prep like it's going to begin on the 3rd. With that being said, the week right before that is the week of two of our workouts. We're going to have a workout on July 29th and July 30th. In addition, on that week, on the 27th and the 28th, we're going to have two Zoom parent meetings. Okay, so we're going to do these parent meetings virtually this year. Again, that's just to prevent us to have all of these parents come into the school in order to meet with you because, again, if we were to do that, we would have to screen the parents as well and not just the athletes. But what this will do is this will give us an opportunity. It will give me a chance to speak to you directly, not just through a video. It will also give our principal and our trainer a chance to address you as well and potentially our athletic director also. Um, the two different dates I mentioned, the 27th and the 28th, that's going to be split up into two grades to try to prevent us from having a Zoom meeting with potentially 50, 60 people on it. So on the 27th, it's going to be our 8th grade parents. So any 8th grade parents... On, June, on July 27th, it's a Monday, we're going to have a Zoom meeting. We're going to have that Zoom meeting later in the day. I think I have it set up for 5 or 6 o'clock. That will allow parents to get off work um, and allow everybody to be on so I can be sure that I'm addressing all the parents there. And then on July 28th will be the 7th grade parents. Um, during these Zoom meetings, I'll send out a little survey during the meeting for you guys to fill out and that's just kind of y'all's way of acknowledging, hey, I was on this meeting. I heard and I understand all the expectations of the team, of the players, of the coaches, of us as parents. Um, but I will send that. Um, I will send that link out for the Zoom meeting to eighth grade parents and then to seventh grade parents on the day of the meeting. And I'll try to send it to an email address that I know that is valid for each player. Um, I'm going to send it out the day of just so it doesn't get buried in your inbox, so it doesn't accidentally get deleted. 
I will honestly probably send it out an hour before the meeting begins just so it's right at the top of your inbox and easy to find. Um, then on later in the week, so Monday and Tuesday is our Zoom meetings later in the day. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have two workouts. In addition to that, on the 29th and the 30th, the day of our two workouts, on the 29th, we're going to have 8th grade pad fitting. And on the 30th, we're going to have 7th grade pad fitting. What that means is from 1 to 3, so right up until our screening time starts for our workouts, we're going to have pad fitting. That means play, or the players are going to come in. We'll have to screen them as they come into the gym. Um, we'll be sure that they pass as normal. We'll send them into the gym. We'll get them fitted for their helmets, their shoulder pads, girdles, pants, knee pads, anything they might need. And they'll go ahead and they'll go in a couple at a time into the locker room, pick their own locker, put their stuff away in that locker, and then go ahead and go back out and just hang out in the gym, still socially distanced from each other, and um, just wait for the workout to begin if they want to stay for that as well. Um, and then on the 30th, it'll be the same thing for the 7th graders. I'll send out a detailed schedule of this as well, and it'll also be listed down below in this video. So... That is the biggest thing. So our workouts are beginning next week. We're having an orientation on Monday. So please, please, please try to be there for that. Um, go ahead and complete family ID. The link will be down below and on all, on all of our communication platforms. And um, if you are a returning eighth grader, you do not need a physical, but everyone else. So any new eighth graders or seventh graders, you need to be sure to get your physical completed. Um, if you need a physical form, we will have some on hand on Monday just in case you need an actual form, but you can print them from the Family ID website as soon as you open the page up. And I'll try to link a copy of the physical form to either the Facebook, the Valley Springs Facebook page or the website itself um, just so you guys have multiple opportunities to get that form. So now I'm going to kind of awkwardly cut to another pre-recorded uh, section of this video where I tell you guys about our new uniforms and then about our communication platforms so you know how to get information about the team. Like that, we do, like that. We do have some new exciting stuff that I, I'm going to show you guys real quick. I was hoping we'd have an in-person meeting so I could show the players this stuff. Um, we finally got new team uniforms. Uh, we have redid our helmet design. We redid our jerseys, got new pants um, and stuff like that. I'm going to start with our helmets. It's what I'm the most excited about. Think they look awesome so what we did is we started we redid our logo on the side kind of mirrors this vs it's an interlocked vs on the side of our helmets um it's gonna be on the left side of everybody's helmets we've got a white and navy stripe down the middle of our helmets and then on the opposite side it'll be the player's number so this just happens to be zeb swangham's um i had him model some of these jerseys for me whenever they came in so i already had a three stuck on this helmet so whatever your child's number is We'll have their number stuck on here at the end of the season. If they still have some adhesive left on, we'll let them pull them off and keep those numbers because I know they like to keep stuff like that. So anyways, super excited about these helmets. They turned out really awesome. Um, it's nice to have some color on this helmet. Uh, I think the flat gold looks awesome with these decals. Really excited about this. I think the kids are too. Um, also, what their kids, I'm sure, are super excited about. We got new jerseys. We had some... Had some really old Russell jerseys. Um, nothing wrong with them. We stored them away. They'll become practice gear here shortly. Uh, but we as a school invested uh, in some Nike jerseys and pants and stuff. Um, these are awesome. They're quality jerseys and pants. Uh, I'm going to start with the pants real quick. So, I mean, they're just awesome Nike pants. The players, they've got some, they're vented in the back. They've got some mesh material in the back to help you breathe and stuff. They've got a built-in knee pad. Um, these are awesome. They're nice and stretchy. They feel like they will breathe really well. You've got the belt built into it, so you don't ever have to worry about feeding the belt through it. I'm sure that'll save you all a lot of heartache in the long run. Um, but again, solid pair of pants. Awesome to have Nike stuff at our school now. Um, yeah, moving on to our jerseys. We've got both new home and away jerseys. Um, they're just nice standard jerseys. Um, they just have a standard block number on them. They've got a twilled on number, so that means they won't crinkle up on us and fall off or anything like that. Again, these are solid jerseys. They're meshed at the bottom. They'll let you all breathe a little bit and not get as hot and sweaty. If you guys remember anything about those old jerseys, 
they're really thick and they didn't breathe very well. Um, but these are much better. Um, they breathe. They've got a nice stretch to them. Uh, once I'm done showing you all these, I'm going to throw up some nice edited pictures of them so you can see them better there. Um, but yeah, so that's our home jerseys. Away jerseys are the same design. Nice standard, all white. They look really clean. Again, we've got the block valley across the top. And then again, the twilled on numbers so they won't fall off. Um, same thing at the bottom. You've got the mesh material. They're super solid jerseys. Again, I think you all are going to look great in it. It's going to be awesome to represent our team with pride in these new jerseys next year. Um, so that's all the new stuff, um, working on maybe getting some new tackling dummies and stuff, but you all see that once the football season gets here. Um, as far as practices go, I mentioned that we can start on August 3rd. So on August 3rd, we'll start practice at three o'clock. You guys are going to drop your kids off at three o'clock at Valley Springs, ideally before then, so they can be ready to be out on the field at three. Uh, we'll practice from three until five thirty. Okay. School will not start, let me check my notes here, school will not start until August 17th. So we have two full weeks of practices before uh, school starts. So before school starts, practice will be from 3 until 5.30. We'll practice those two weeks. Again, we're going to try to have a scrimmage at some point. It'll probably be that first week of school and we will actually have our scrimmage. That'll let us get through all the days that we have to be in just helmets, just shoulder pads, up until our full contact day. Um, but once school starts, practice will just begin right after school, and you'll still pick your kid up at 5.30. Um, please be sure you are there to pick up your kid no later than 5.45. Um, us as coaches, we got to get home. We've got families and stuff. Please be sure you're there on time. If it's an issue to be there before 5.45, please let me know before then so I can be sure that we've got someone there to just kind of hang out. Be sure your kid gets home with you safely. Um We've got several different ways to uh, get to know or get information about our team. First off, there's a Valley Springs football Facebook page. I know most kids don't have a Facebook. That's fine. This page is intended for parents. This is one way that I'm going to send out information to you all. These three ways I'm going to tell you, I'm going to post information on all three of them or send them out on all three of them. First is the Facebook page. I'll post a link below this video to that. The second one, we like I mentioned before, we have a Valley Springs football website. A lot of people, y'all, a lot of people do not know about that. Uh, I'll currently the only thing that is on there are summer workout dates, um, some quotes and stuff like that. Um, but that I'll post the team roster, I'll post our game schedule and everything on that. That's an easy place to go to to get all the information about the team. And then finally, um, we have a remind um, app setting thing this year for our football team. This is a way that you guys or your players can sign up for and you guys can get mass emails or texts from me or another coach about practices, workouts. Again, that's going to really come into effect this summer whenever we're talking about maybe having to cancel a workout or anything like that. This way I can shoot out a mass text. It will go to every number, email that's on the, on the program. That way everyone can get the information at once. I know those kids are glued to their phones. This will give them a short, simple mass text. I cannot individually text them. It sends it to everyone in the group. So parents, please sign up as well with your kids so you can get the same information. Um, but again, you sign up, I'll send you an, inf an email or a text or whatever. You guys can get the information. It'll say workout canceled on whatever, July 28th. And that way you guys can know and you won't show up and then be like, hey, where's everybody at? And then shoot me five emails and then realize, oh, it's already been canceled. Um, that's just another easy way to get information about the team, about practices and stuff like that. And then also, if you want to be on a parent email list, if you guys could just go ahead and email me. I'll put my email in the link or in the comments as well. Um, just go ahead and email me. I'll go ahead and start making the parent email list for this year. So that way, whenever I put, I need to tell you all anything, whether it's practice canceled, hey, remember to wear dress clothes on game day. That way, I will post it on all three. I'll post it on the Facebook page. I'll send it out on Remind, and I will email the parents. So all, 
all that information will go out three different ways, so hopefully it'll get to every player and every parent um, in some way or another. I'm just kind of covering all my bases in, in that way that you guys can contact me. I can get in touch with you easily. Um, and that way we just don't have any miscommunications or anything like that. So it's three forms of communication. They're all different. Some of them use your phone. Some of them use a computer and your email. That way it just kind of covers every way that I can possibly get in touch with you. Um, so that is all that I think I have for right now. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please email me. I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Again, I'm looking really forward to this summer. I'm hoping we're going to be able to get some good quality workouts in, both at TC and at Valley. Um, I hope you guys are ready for a great season. I have high hopes for this team. I think we're going to have a, another great year. Um, and again, if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.